Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be um, putting the entire worship set in this vlog um, just kind of as it flows um, because we really tighten up all of our transitions um, in this. So I wanted to talk about kind of seaming your transition together. So if you use tracks, it's really just as simple as finding a good on and off ramp, picking songs that go together, you know, even if they're not in the exact same key, have uh, complementary keys or something you can get to a lot easier. So for instance, uh, we started off in um, Alive and then went to clean Natalie Grant. So Alive, Hillsong Young and Free, clean Natalie Grant, super far, um, you know, as far as dynamics, speed, and even time signatures. So getting from Alive to clean is a pretty big jump, right? Because Alive is in 4-4, it's in E, um, you know, it's fast, clean, um, is in G flat, I think. Someone can correct me, I really don't know. Drummer, not piano player. Um, but anyways, complimentary keys works well enough. Um, so someone else can maybe say what chords we went to or not. You can tell me after watching it. Someone can put it in the comments. Um, but basically what we did is, you know, a live ends on this kind of drum groove outro and then clean begins with just piano, right? There's nothing even at all in this. We built in kind of a drum intro. So from a live, it's boom, do cat, do, do cat, do, cat, do, cat, 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 you know, cat, cat, cat. Kind of this little outro. What we just did, uh, and then straight from there, you like my, my beatboxing there? Straight from there into I played all the way through the intro, then dropped out into the verse. So, kind of created that transition there, you'll see it. And then from clean into um, You Deserve It, JJ Harrison, we just went from like this big, um, I think the big bridge up. It speeds up slightly, but we just kind of speed ramped it up and then dropped into the intro of um, You Deserve It. So in our set, the way it was placed was after the second song, we do like a prayer segment, have people come up and pray. So we just loop that intro over and over and over. Um, Keith was on keys, so he transitioned off keys to direct the choir. Dan Duran went on keys one from keys two. So I made all those swaps while the prayer was happening. Looped the intro like three or four times and then dropped into verse one. You'll see me tell Keith like for sure, like, yeah, here comes verse one, I'm dropping into the track. So anyways, um, just for those of you wanting to kind of step up your worship flow a little bit more and you're looking for transition ideas, um, again, these are songs that aren't even necessarily, um, you would think can work together, aren't necessarily in the same vein, you know, from alive to clean. But yet there's ways you can build transitions, whether it's dynamics, through drums, even through different time signatures. So just an idea. Um, so now I'm going to start at the top of the morning, right, a little bit. Actually, this uh, vlogged a little bit the night before. So I'm going to jump in there. But I'm going to put some time... Um, codes in the description below if you want to kind of see and hop around for yourself. If you don't want to watch the whole vlog, that'd be great too. Um, also, I've got some links in the description below. I got a brand new Pelican case that I'm loving. It's like a carry-on overhead compartment for plane rides size case, but really just works. I got like the photography dividers in it and I love it for all my camera gear, knickknacks and everything. It's awesome. I'm trying to get away from carrying this ginormous backpack every week. So anyways, that Pelican case in the description and a bunch of other stuff as well. But man, if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do so. I would appreciate it. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you think would dig it. Um, and yeah, here we go. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? It is Saturday night. It's 11 o'clock now. I am working on editing and uploading all of my content from Because of the Times. So yeah, that's fun. Um, Got a service in the morning uh, at Royal Wood. Glad to be home, glad to be at my home church. Um, so I'm gonna walk through the set that uh, we're gonna be doing tomorrow, but just wanna see my little workstation here. So I got one of these screens. This is, I can't remember the exact ratio. It's like it's something crazy, but it's super wide, which I love because for Final Cut, I got you can look at all my menus and windows without having to scroll over or minimize things, running my, all my hard drive, storage, all that stuff. So I may do a, a video about my workflow sometime soon because I get asked about that a lot, you know, what I do, how it all works. But I wanted to show you this. I got this in the mail from Merino Customs. Um, and check this guy out. This is a custom extension cable, headphone extension cable. So he makes all kinds of cables, but um, I love this one. And you can hear, you hear that? This thing is like a braided, um, it's like coated in like this, I don't know, I don't know if it's like a nylon feeling kind of, it's obviously super flexible, but it's braided, but it's got a 90 degree end on it, so off the back of your avion, it goes straight down. Um, 
and it's also got this little Velcro strap, which is great because what I do is I use the Velcro, Velcro on my belt loop. So again, Merino Customs, check out on Instagram. I'll post his um his link here. But this thing is a beast headphone extension cable. So you may ask, why would you pay a little bit more for headphone extension cable? It's one of those things that you don't really appreciate it until it goes out, right? So these things are guaranteed. Um, and check this out, put a little custom work on it. How sweet is that? But man, thank you so much for sending this cable out. I've already got one up at the church, but I was traveling and he hit me up on Instagram. He's like, hey man, how you liking the cable using it? And I said, actually, I've been leaving it on the church kit because we like it so much. So he's like, man, you need another one. <laughs> so he sent me this one and I asked for a yellow. That way I could still see a little better in the, in the dark on stage and stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, just editing footage down for our from bot um, just got like three or four hundred gigs of footage, so tons of songs, and um, last Sunday's set as well. But four in the morning, tomorrow is Vision Sunday at the church. We're launching our vision for 2019, so I'm really excited about that. But we're doing a live um, clean. Uh, I think it's Natalie Grant. Uh, you deserve it, JJ Harrison version, uh, and then Here's in Heaven. So. Choir is going to be up, I think, the whole service. Just a great worship set. So, excited about that. But I thought I would just tag in with you guys this evening. Editing, listening, mixing, um, and also trying to wrap my brain around the morning. So, I guess we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning.